Hey, this is Seb, and today we're taking a closer look at the new CDLC for ARM Tree, namely Sparehead 1944 by Heavy Ordnance Works. If you're new to ARMA or the CDLC program, it's basically content created by third-party studios and published through Bohemia Interactive. Sparehead 1944 marks the fifth CDLC to be released through this program. Uh, immediately, I should disclose that I have actually worked with the developers, and more specifically with producing the launch trailer that you see in the background, together with Flawless Wargamer and the team. I'm sure you are familiar with Flawless if you enjoy Armored Tree Machinima. Anyway, I hope you liked it, and with that out of the way, I wanted to take a closer look at the content of Sparehead 1944. So, if you are unfamiliar with this project, it's a World War II themed creator DLC for Arma, and it's centered around the less known Operation Cobra that took place in Normandy in July of 1944. And with that being said, let's get into it. Starting off with the map, it's a new 150 square kilometer representation of the real world terrain based on Normandy, France. I will say that the attention to detail in this map and the effort they put in into the realism of it is really good. Inland Normandy is most famous for the bocage, and the bocage being a terrain type that proved quite challenging for the Allied forces to maneuver in. The bocage creates a gameplay mechanic where it's easier for German forces to hide and ambush the American side, creating a difficult challenge for the advancing force. Furthermore, the map is riddled with plenty of new entryable buildings, as well as many new towns for close quarters battle. The performance can take a toll, especially in the ruins of uh, St. Lo. I would recommend turning down the view distance, as most of the time you'll be having something like 100 to 200 meter engagements. But to sum up the map, I personally think they did an excellent job. And for those wanting the D-Day landings and the beaches, good news, the team announced that there is an Omaha beach map in development as a partner project and will be delivered as a free workshop mod. Now let's talk single player and co-op content. In Sparehead 1944 you can play a new co-op campaign for up to 24 players. The main focus is playing as the second armor division during Operation Cobra. The campaign consists of seven fully voiced and immersive missions taking place across large swaths of the Normandy map. The missions have all been animated with briefings for each mission that lay out the tasks that you have to do and the objectives the players have to complete. The cool part is that you can choose the strategy that you want with your friends by voting on the approach in each mission. Therefore, it increases the replayability giving you a chance to try a different approach and different roles each time. Now each mission has an intro and outro cinematic sequence that explains in depth the story of Operation Cobra during the campaign, making for an interesting history lesson. There's also a French resistance focused scenario where you and three other friends can take part in a daring assignment as part of the French resistance. And since I mentioned the uh, French resistance, we can move into the new assets for Spearhead 1944. There are five new factions, including General US Army, 2nd Armored Division, the Free French, the French resistance, and German forces with both stormtroopers and the Wehrmacht. All factions are equipped with their own uniforms and gear, and there's also a ton of new civilian clothing options. There are over 30 new weapons, explosives, uniforms and other gear. The CDLC bolsters around 40 plus vehicles and static weapons, such as the M18 Hellcat, M10 Wolverine and the Tiger One. What I recommend doing is going into the US and German faction showcases to familiarize yourself with all the new equipment, weapons and gear. One thing I'm not hearing a lot of people talk about is the gameplay improvements the CDLC brings, and to name a few, it brings advanced vaulting in form of jumping, weapon collision or wall avoidance, it has enemy surrendering systems, enhanced revive like the one you have from SOG and the AI can then revive other AI and yourself. You have open bolt hip firing, you have realistic tank penetration, deflection and destruction system, as well as extended reload animations, as well as excellent sound and fire effects. They are just excellent. 
The CDLC is also complemented by a number of modules that include custom ambient war sounds, illumination flares, ordnance, artillery brush, AI modules, medic modules and much more. It also comes with new game modes such as Blitzkrieg, it's in, a, in short it's an asymmetric 32 vs 32 defended attack type kind of game. And you of course have the option to choose where you create your own missions, play combat patrol, escape, warlords and there are of course new game modes coming out almost every day so it doesn't take long before your favorite game mode like Antistasi or something like that is running. I'm pretty sure it's already available as I speak. To wrap things up, I personally think Sparehead 1944 is a solid product. I think over time with new maps, mods and updates uh, to complement it, it will be one of my favorite CDLC for Armor 3. I get the feeling that this DLC will do well because of the sheer enthusiasm around high quality content related to World War 2. So let me know your thoughts on this CDLC and what you would like to see in the future down below. Please enjoy some more gameplay from the campaign and from me to you, stay safe. Taking the crossroad in San Gil. Out.
This is Nancy Lear. Target confirmed. Proceeding to engage. Over. This is Nancy Leader. Approaching marked position. Over. I'm out! This is Nancy Leader. Engaging target. Keep your heads down. Out. to all units. The town is ours. Well done. Rally up on the double. We'll be moving out again soon. Powerhouse out. American troops from the 2nd Armored Division are once again on the offensive, charging hot on the heels of heavy aerial bombardment that devastated the German defenses near the town of St. Gilles. As bitter combat in the maze of Norman hedgerows rages on, our boys are duking it out with the enemy and putting up a valiant fight. Infantry and armor moving as one unstoppable force, a fine demonstration of the latest advancements in combined arms warfare. The American First Army is on the cusp of the most dramatic breakout since the invasion. It's only a matter of time before the rest of Normandy and then all of France is free from the grasp of Hitler's maniacal machinations.